Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Wednesday, November the 2nd. We continue our look at the readings assigned for Reformation uh, Day or Reformation Sunday as we celebrated it uh, a couple of days ago. Um, one reading, though, that we, that we didn't use in our worship service uh, is Psalm 46. Uh, and it's the Psalm 46 that Luther based his great hymn, great Reformation hymn, A Mighty Fortress, uh, is our God. And I just want to read a couple of uh, verses from it. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Um, there you can see how God, Luther got this idea of a mighty fortress is our God. Verse 7, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. That's repeated in verse 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. But then there's verse 10, at least the first half of it. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. That's difficult for us to, to do, isn't it? We live in a, uh, a crazy world, a crazy busy world, breakneck speed. There's always things happening, always things going on, um, always running from one appointment or commitment uh, to another. Um, Glenn Peace writes, we live in a culture where speed is king. I find myself in a hurry, he says, even if there's no reason. People get uptight today if they miss a revolution uh, in a revolving door. We are an uptight generation of compulsive activists. There are 10 times more things to do in a day than anyone can do, and so we feel that we're always behind and failing to do all that we could. All we do is respond, respond, respond to stimuli. We, we want peace, but it just does not fit into our agenda. Peace calls for doing nothing sometimes, and we, we can't handle that. Pascal, the great Christian philosopher and scientist, once said, most of man's troubles come from his inability to be still. And part of it, too, I think, is our, our lack of peace or lack of sense of peace is that um, we become overwhelmed by the world around us. Um, you know, it's tempting sometimes to think that, oh, yeah, things are worse today than they ever were. And, and in, in some ways, we're, we're faced with unique challenges and situations that, uh, uh, that no one before us has ever faced. But generations before us face things that, that we have never faced. Um, and you go back in history. I was a history major in, uh, in, in college. And so I, uh, I have sort of a, uh, a lay person's uh, um, understanding of, of history and you know, there's the, every age, every generation is faced with with unique and difficult challenges, and uh, um, and sometimes the weight of the world is is on our in our shoulders, and it's hard to a as I said at the beginning, hard to slow down because there's so much happening, um, and uh, and 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 b it's it's difficult to to have a sense of peace not only because we can't slow down but also because the world just seems to be so overwhelming. There's so much going on. You think about the lingering effects of the pandemic. You think of um, what's happening, happening politically in our country and all the unrest that's going on. You think of the war in Ukraine. You think of, you know, what, what's the next, what's gonna, the next thing that's gonna happen? And it's, it's almost too much to, to bear. There's, I keep seeing articles. I don't, I don't have time to read all of them, but I keep seeing articles about um, people who are just overwhelmed with everything. Well, Bruce Larson tells a story um, that helped people in this respect. He said, many years I worked in New York City and he counseled at my office any number of people who were wrestling uh, with this very situation we're talking about. And he, I would often suggest that they walk with me from my office down to the RCA building on Fifth Avenue. Well, in the entrance to that building is a gigantic statue of Atlas, a beautifully proportioned man who, with all of his muscle straining, is holding the world upon his shoulders. And there he is, the most powerfully built man in the world. He can barely stand up under this burden. Now, that's one way to live, I would point out to my companion, trying to carry the world on your shoulders. But now, come across the street with me. And on the other side of Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. And there, behind the high altar, is a little shrine of the the boy Jesus, perhaps eight or nine years old, and with no effort at all, he's holding the world in one hand. My point, writes Larson, was illustrated graphically. We have a choice. 
we can carry the world on our shoulders, or we can say, I give up, Lord. Here's my life. I give you my world, the whole world. As the psalmist said, God is our refuge and strength. Be still and know that I am God. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Hopefully you can be still and find some peace today. And looking forward to be back, in, back together with you again tomorrow. Until then, bye.